So let's start with lecture one, an introduction to food safety. The aim of this lecture is to provide an understanding of the importance of good food hygiene. By the end of this lecture, you will be able to give reasons why we need good food hygiene, state the symptoms of food poisoning, and name the at-risk groups. We'll start by looking at some definitions. Contamination is the presence or introduction of a hazard. Food hygiene is all measures and conditions necessary to control hazards and to ensure fitness for human consumption of a foodstuff, taking into account its intended use. A food safety management system is all the policies, procedures, practices, controls and documentation that ensure the food sold by a business is safe to eat and free from contaminants. HACCP stands for Hazard Analysis, Critical Control Points, and is an example of a food safety management system. HACCP is a food safety management system which identifies, evaluates and controls hazards which are significant for food safety. Safe food is food that is free from contaminants and will not cause harm, injury or illness. A case of food poisoning is a person with symptoms, usually diarrhoea and or vomiting who has become ill as a result of eating contaminated food and who has provided a specimen from which a food poisoning organism, toxin or poison, has been isolated or is part of a confirmed food poisoning outbreak. Carriers excrete food poisoning organisms or carry them on their body. They don't have any symptoms. A convalescent carrier has recovered from the illness. A healthy carrier has never shown symptoms.